Here at first time watching, welcome. Today we review the action-packed 2022 film R.I.P.D. 2 with a lot of movie reactions. When Sheriff Roy Pulsifer passes away the night before his daughter's wedding, he learns that a long-forgotten demon is plotting to rule the entire globe. Now that Roy is a member of the RIPD, a celestial organization that specializes in destroying demons, he must learn how to use weapons and cooperate with others in this new phase of his existence. Before we begin, we kindly ask that you like and comment on the video since this will allow us to expand our niche. The movie opens with the first appearance of Otis, a mysterious man working in an unspecified place. He keeps digging, seemingly requesting anything other than avarice. Otis believes he has found a priceless artifact in an old vein, but what he really finds is a passage to hell. A portal appears, and a dreadful shadow steps out of it and into Otis' body. It soon becomes apparent that Otis was under the control of a demon, a very deadly one at that, and that the guy who formerly stood there is no longer there. Sheriff Roy Pulsifer, our main character, is later introduced. The man is obstinate, conceited, and more. However, it is evident that he adores his daughter dearly, and the residents of his town hold him in high regard. A group called the Samuels attacks the train as he gets his daughter and the man who will become his husband, and a firefight occurs. Despite Roy's skill with the weapon, for some unexplained reason, none of the attackers are injured. Roy is shot behind the back in the middle of the gunfight, and as a result, he is taken to paradise. In paradise he is welcomed by an angel from the RIPD, also known as the Rest in Peace Department. Their aim is to keep peace on earth by returning the demons to their terrifying prison in hell. The angel reveals that they only accept the best soldiers into the group. However, Roy is eager to come back and exact revenge on the Samuels for having him killed. When he returns to Earth, he is given a job and introduced to Jean, his new co-worker. She has a sharp sword and doesn't get along with Roy very well. Roy is unable to return to his former life, according to Jean. They won't comprehend him if he tries to talk to a close friend or family member. She also demonstrates to him how they have switched places with other people's bodies. They are housed in the bodies of two black female bounty hunters. Roy acknowledges that although he is not prejudiced towards black people, they will have a tougher time adjusting to life in this body. After learning that Angus, his daughter's fiancé, has been abducted, Roy makes the decision to go rescue him. What is Otis doing with all the people he has kidnapped? Otis' involvement in the Samuel's assault is clear, as we can see. He's been gathering a legion of demons, and now he's prepared to carry out a ritual that will let loose even more of them onto Earth. He desires for the demons that are coming from Hell to use the human bodies as their vehicles. We observe Angus attempting to assist others, proving that he is not the coward Roy believed him to be. In the meantime, Slim is captured by Roy and Jean after they engage in a shooting match with demons. Slim claims he just wants to be good and live an honorable life, and he doesn't want to return to hell. Naturally, Roy does not believe him, and they continue to torment him until they reach Red Creek, where Otis and the abducted individuals are reportedly hiding. A violent gunfight starts when Roy and Jean attack the mine where the kidnappers are holed up. The demons are instantly killed by Roy and Jean's unique weaponry. Even Jean, a seasoned combatant, is finding the fight difficult. The identity of Jean as the fabled Joan of Arc is made public. Even though she uses the strength of her relic, Magic Tears, to exterminate all the demons, Otis manages to survive and confront them, exposing himself as Astaroth. Roy utilizes his final tool, his tears, as Joan and he battle the devil, delivering Astaroth to hell once more. The abducted victims are freed, and Slim even provided evidence that some demons genuinely desire to do good and advance their own lives. In spite of his desire to see paradise and reunite with his deceased wife, Roy admits that he is content to have Joan as a companion. Joan tells Roy that, in order to enter the hereafter, he must have completed at least 100 years of service in the RIPD. As the film comes to an end, Roy curses the deities.